hello friends so welcome to another video of chatpack compose tutorial series so in this video we are going to learn about a new ui component uh, that is stack so what basically stack is uh, like as an android developer you must have used some kind of overlaying uh, kind of layout uh, where you can actually overlay your items over one another uh, for example uh, a very basic layout available is frame layout uh, which helps you to actually um, create a layout or create a widget and overlay another widget to it over the top of it so this can also be achieved using relative layout and constraint layouts uh, but we will see that how we can achieve such kind of things uh, using jetpack compose so let's get started so first of all uh, we are going to create a function so let's name it first we will declare it as composable and then we will name it as stack elements you can name it anything um, as you want so now uh, we are going to use a ui component that is stack so this is our stack uh, you can say widget or function so now uh, we will create some of the ui elements uh, for example uh, we are going to create a shape so to create shape we can use a box so inside box we have number of predefined properties uh, that we can use so like the shape so we can define the shape over here for this um, uh, layout or you can see the widget i'm going to use a circle shape so circle shape and then uh, there are a number of other properties uh, so I'm going to use a background color for the shape so um, or uh, it would be better if I use a uh, not a background color but uh, rather uh, you can say a border so here is the border so border stroke and here we need to pass the width um, that would be 10 dot dps and now a color that would be let's say color dot green so this should create a circle uh, with a border of 10 dps uh, with a green color and also we need to call this function over here and now we will run our application to see a basic shape uh, which should get drawn somewhere over here because we haven't defined any position so it should go to um, 0 comma 0 position that is 0 position of x and 0 position of y which is this place so yeah you can see it over here like this so now um, we need to actually define some size so we are going to define a size to our stack uh, rather than this box so first of all uh, we'll define a stack uh, a size so using the modifier widget or not widget modifier property so we will define modifier over here modifier fire dot um, fill max size so this stack is gonna cover the whole screen and now we are also going to give some properties to this box so let's say modify equal to modifier dot preferred size so this would be let's say 100 dot dps so preferred size would um, choose both height and width uh, with the same value so this box or you can say this circle shape would have a height and width of 100 dps so let's run our project again So yeah, here you can see the new results where we have our um, circle shape uh, which is a little bigger this time. So now what if we want to change the actual position of this circle. So now to do that what we can do is we can use a new property of this modifier that is gravity. So this seems very similar to our xml layout so there also we have layout gravity properties if we use uh, relative layout etc so we can define our gravity over here so this will be align equal to alignment dot center for example so this widget 
or UI element should come over here because uh, the stack is covering the whole screen so this whole white portion you can see is the stack widget and uh, by giving a property of alignment of center uh, we are asking this widget to uh, get placed in the center of this stack so let's run our application so we are actually moving step by step uh, rather than just drawing two or three widgets over here and seeing they are overlapping or something like that but now we are actually going step by step to actually see that how all the properties are working so now you can see that the widget uh, is in the center of this stack so now we will define another shape so we will just copy these paste it over here and uh, now we are not going to use a circle shape but we are going to use a rounded corner shape so all of these properties are already available in uh, jetpack compose we need to remember some of them and um, other than that the hints will work so here we need to define the size so let's say the roundness of um, this box should be 20 dot dps or let it be 10 only so now uh, we are going to define a border color to be yellow and now we are going to define a background color also so background color would be color dot sorry yeah color dot um, let it be blue so now uh, what will happen is uh, there would be two shapes and uh, both are having center gravity so uh, one should overlap the other one but uh, you can hardly see uh, the shapes because this shape will actually cover the whole space because um, both of the elements have the same dimensions so what we can do is we can reduce this dimension because this is the overlapping widget uh, because we are defining it in such order like first this widget will be drawn and after that this widget will be drawn so this will be on the top so as soon as we keep on defining other widgets so all those widgets coming in the bottom of this would be on top of this widget so now um, what we can do is we can actually adjust the size to be 50 dps only or let it be 100 and we should increase this to 200 and now we are going to run our application so as you can see over here now uh, this green circle is actually in the center and this blue um, shape is also in the center of the screen but this is having a height of 100 so it is actually um, overlapping this circle um, but the circle is of 200 dp so um, you can see uh, them both at the same place so now uh, what we can do is we can also define a background color to this uh, for example color dot red i'm choosing some high contrasting colors for background so that we can clearly observe that how these widgets are performing like how they are drawn over the screen so like this you can see that uh, this box is now um, covering this much whole area this whole area is covered by this circle and then another widget uh, get drawn over the screen and uh, this widget cover this much area so actually uh, this blue blue uh, uh, square box is actually overlapping this circle so this is the way we can use stacks and uh, we can use this to overlap um, some widgets so now uh, for example let's create another shape and now uh, what if we want to define a different gravity to this shape so we can simply change it over here for example the bottom uh, these are all the defined uh, presets which we can use so I'm going to take um, bottom so bottom center actually so this so the new shape should be placed uh, somewhere around here so also uh, we are going to change the shape from rounded corner to again a circle shape and the dimensions would be let's say 80 dps and uh, border color would be blue 
and the background color should be um, let's take it as black or some other better color magenta yeah this will work so let's run the application so as you can see that uh, by changing this gravity we can actually adjust the position of any of the widgets in this stack so uh, one of the use case of this widget is uh, for example if there is a um, like a chat screen so you want a bottom bar over here which should actually uh, always be overlapping your chat screen um, so your messages should scroll in the full view uh, but your bar should be somewhere like here and if a user starts scrolling then this uh, bar where the user actually types the message should disappear and when the user user scrolls back or stops scrolling so this bar should appear again over here so in such kind of scenarios where you have a widget uh, which is covering the um, any of the area you want and you want some other widget to overlap that widget so you can use tag and it has the property to define the gravities so you can um, align the widget anywhere you want at the top part top center top start uh, bottom center bottom start or even the center of the screen anywhere you want so this gravity property is actually useful with stacks so this is the way you can uh, define such kind of things and as you can see that how the um, code is actually reduced by a lot and you can say what you can simply do is you can simply uh, pass a list of widgets over here and uh, you can see that uh, you can pass a list of widgets using as a parameter and uh, you can simply reuse this stack element anywhere you want in your project so reusability actually is a main concept or you can see the main feature that is actually uh, very much important and very much you can say available in jetpack compose so uh, reusability of the widgets is actually a really good feature of jetpack compose that we can simply create such functions and we can call this function anywhere we want to uh, and we can have the ui uh, reused over there we don't need to write all the code again and again and uh, we can actually pass them uh, some of the properties as a parameter and we can pass that property over here so customizations are also easy like if we want uh, a stack of some size for example let's say a stack of size 100 at one place like the width should be 100 and height should be 500 so we can simply pass uh, that uh, modifier as uh, over in the function as a parameter for example like this so we are also going to give a default value so we can simply pass it over here so now uh, if we want this widget uh, or ui element to uh, reuse in our code what we can do is we can simply define the modify over here for example modify equal to um modifier dot preferred size to be let's say 200 dot dps or let's increase it to 400 dot dps so now it should create a um, stack widget of uh, 400 width and 400 height like this so the stack widget is actually drawn over this place uh, so uh, one more thing I can show you uh, by coloring the widget so we can use the background color property so here we can define our color for example color dot gray so this is the modifier I am passing to our stack so this should actually color the stack widget itself so like this so you can see that uh, this gray part is our stack widget uh, with a height of 400 and a width of 400 so this is a square so let's say that at some place we want this to cover full screen so at that place we can simply copy this method we can paste it over there and then we can change this property to 
fill max size like this and we can simply see that now it should actually fill the whole screen like this you can see so this is a reusable feature you can say because you are simply calling a function which you have defined somewhere in your project and uh, you are controlling it uh, by just passing some parameters so this is a great feature and code reusability is actually at a max level i can say so in the coming videos we are going to learn uh, more about some code reusability features and also we are going to cover some more widgets available and we are going to see um, that how we can actually manage and how we can create some beautiful looking uis using jetpack compose so i'm planning to actually create some uh, cool uis like uh, i'm going to take some ui example from dribble or uh, up labs so and then i'll try to create that those uis using jetpack compose and i'll create a video that how i uh, we can create those uis uh, how we can align elements how we can use different kind of ui elements to actually build such kind of uis so we'll see you in coming videos stay tuned goodbye take care